New introduction here. I want to get everybody's attention for what I feel will be a lucrative opportunity. It's the first ever NYSE marijuana IPO. We're making history here, and I feel this is just the first stepping stone in what is going to be the start of many IPOs on both the NASDAQ and the NYSE. I feel we're going to have a marijuana sector and marijuana ETFs in the future. And this is just step number one. If you are familiar with the industry, that's all I have to say. I know you're interested already. If this is new to you, this is going to be, in my opinion, the greatest financial opportunity in our lifetimes. This has never happened before. We have a an established tens of billions dollar industry that the floodgates are going to open. It's becoming more and more legitimate legally. And this is just step number one. So Innovative Industrial Properties is the the company, the ticker is IIPR. It is a real estate, REIT, that invests in medical marijuana facilities. And for this IPO, we have a new website, www.mjipo.com. I put together an hour of research video going through the filings, researching the company and the executives, and establishing a game plan, looking at some other IPOs and how they have traded. We're going to have a chat room with live Q&A during that day, Tuesday, November 22nd. And we'll also have the live webcam where I'll be showing our charts, going over, pointing out key support and resistance levels, looking at the volume that's coming in. I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. I hope you will join us. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get into the charts. Hey, everyone, looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame. The bulls are still strong. Inside candlestick, bull break signal as soon as we broke 218.14. Looking to the upside, and we got that follow-through closing up near the high of the day. We did finally see an increase in bull volume. It wasn't significant, but it does break that lower high pattern or lower volume pattern, which favors the bulls. We have now seen higher lows six days in a row since the election, and we're on the door of all-time highs. I'm looking at SPX for all-time highs because SPY is subject to dividends, and that does affect the price a bit. So we've got 21.9381 here we are at 21.8712 we are $7 away from an all-time high and that is about 0.4% maybe even a little less so very possible that tomorrow we see a blue sky breakout all-time highs of the S&P 500 the bulls are in full control we are seeing no slowdown in sight at this point and we'll see if we end the week on a strong note which all signs point to at this point in time Checking in on the five-minute chart, bulls came out firing right out of the gate, broke that inside candlestick on the daily time frame, the first candlestick of today, hit the high of the day, consolidated, there's our higher low. We bounced right off of 218.10, so that became a key support to be watching going forward. Lower high, higher low, bull break on increasing bull volume, consolidation, and then we started to consolidate a little bit more significantly with lower highs and lower lows. This candlestick was a little bit concerning due to the volume that came with it, but the bulls did hold on, and this is what this shape looked like drawn out. A bull flag on the five-minute time frame, parallel, not exactly parallel, but close enough channel of consolidation, and looking on the hourly chart, it looks a little bit different, but those two candlesticks consolidating was bullish and we continue to the upside ending strong at the end of the day so the bulls are in full control the hourly time frame let's look at it here that chart i didn't really like that hourly view a couple candlesticks of consolidation holding exponential moving average support continuing to the upside increase in bull volume to end the day and the bulls are in full control so we'll see what tomorrow brings entirely possible we are ending the week in all-time highs and that is where all the momentum is going and it essentially all started with the volume on election day that is what let us know this move was for real highest volume we had seen in at least three months all for the bulls and since then even though we've seen declining volume while we reach a, a bit of an equilibrium that momentum has carried over and favored the bulls the bears have not been anywhere in sight since the election and that was the case with the strong close here to end the day and looking for all-time highs tomorrow we'll check back in to end the week see how it all played out Thanks for watching. See you then.